Welcome everybody into this new tutorial. So let's take a look at how we can use the Audacity tools uh, here into your computer. So as you can see, I'm into audacityteam.org. You just need to go in here, go to the download section and look for the computer that you are using, maybe using a Mac, Linux or Windows. So after that, you you just get into the installer so you can download it and you can open it right away. So if you're quite new editing your music or editing your sound here into your uh, videos, it's quite easy to use the Audacity application. So once you download the application, it's going to be looking like this. After you enter, because it's totally free, guys, you don't have to pay absolutely for anything. So just in case the application asks you for making a few payment or quick trial, do not download it because it might be a scam or that's not the right application because this application is totally for free guys so once you are here into audacity you're going to see uh that the surface is going to be looking like this the interface now if we focused in here you have the transport section where we can play where we can pause stop and try to record uh new stuff in here now for example if i want to go into the file section i can open so region files so i can import uh different audios in here so whether you can go into Ctrl Shift and I or you can select the Explorer and you can choose here your file you want to import. For example, I want to import this file. You just go to drag that into this uh, space. So it's going to be popping up here, this new track here. So as you can see, I can now uh, move this one from the right side or the left side. And as you can see, if I move here my mouth just a little bit up is going to be changing the cursor here so as you can see here it is so this is just for the size of speaking about the pen of the stereo of my uh, recording here so let's say for example i want to leave that leave it like that and look for something like this this is for making the volume a little bit more a bit more gain here so as you can see here in the up upper section we can choose uh, which audio hosting you want to choose if you want to make a recording here then you want to then you want to select your microphone from uh, whether that will be from uh, the internal one that, that adds in your computer or you want to use an external as you can see this is an interface that I have connected into my computer and I want to choose this TV recording number number two so it can be the uh, stereo and choose the option that says speakers so I can listen so I can listen to that after I make the recording through my computer so as you can see this really easy guys up in here you have the tools that uh, you can use for panning here and edit your audio so for example let's say I want to look for some music into my computer so as you can see I've already imported uh, here to files in here so I have here the music so I can so I can put here my uh my mouse in here and i can just rename this from music background and on the upper side i have my recording where it's my voice so as you can see here i can change the format here from 16 24 or 32 depending on the video editor you're going to be using here and if you want to change the view size if you want to change the view of whether from waveform into spectral one you can do that as well but i strongly suggest you guys to keep into the waveform because that's a very much easy way so you can take a look uh which part you want to delete for example i don't want this part of this audio so i just need to select that and select this option it's right in here says silence audio selection so as you can see it's no longer available or for example i want to zoom a little bit out and let's say i don't want to hear any of that i just want to hear this i just want to hear this piece of my music because my video is not too too large so i want to select all this file in here and i'm going to choose the trim audio outside so it's going to be deleting all what's so it's going to be deleting everything that's outside but i'm just selecting here so as you can see i can move that i can drag that in here and let's say for example I want to do this a little bit small, smaller so I can take a look at both tracks in here and I can regulate here uh, which one's going to be hearing uh, mode more louder here so maybe I want to scroll this a little bit up so for example I want to pan this I want to listen everything on only on the left side or only on the right side so you can see here's the percentage that you can use 
Now, speaking about this real tool that's right in here, speaking about the envelope tool, it's really helpful, guys, just in case that you're trying to avoid uh, some noise that was recorded that you wanted, uh, wanted to happen that. So, for example, this is too uh, loud here. So, let's say I want to click in here. And now, what I want to do is to make this disappearing so I cannot be hearing this anymore. Well, let's say, for example, if you're trying to uh, listen to something that's not too... Um, well, let's try to expand this a little bit more. So as you can see, we can have a little bit more volume in here. And let's say, for example, that you are okay with all of your changes here. You, you can totally add effects in here. You can go into the effects section. And as you can see, you can choose a bunch of things. For example, we can use some rebirth. We can use some uh, echo so we can start uh, hearing more space into our track there. And of course, there's the graphic EQ. So you can uh, choose listen to more of this uh, frequencies or to listen less of a specific frequencies when you are trying to edit here your sound so let's say if you are okay with all your edits that you've done so far i'm gonna hit into okay and if you go into uh okay it's gonna be applying the effects in here so now that it's already happened i want to go into the file section and you can always export here your work as a mp3 file a WAV or any other kind of audio. So guys, if you've already finished here and you want to send everything to your video editor, so I strongly suggest you to use the WAP type of the format here, cause this is like the main uh, way that you can receive all the information about your formatting here, about your files in here. So you can get a clean export information about what you've done so far. So. You can always export it to M3G files, which is like um, the general idea, but I strongly suggest to use a WAV one so you can have much more uh, frequency so you can edit those. So there you have it guys, it's totally up to you to be creative here into the Audacity application. Likewise, you can always try to use new stuff like the loop section. For example, if I want to put in here my cursor here, I can drag here. For example, I want to hear this part of the music over and over again so after this one is already played it's going to be making a loop and lastly guys i strongly suggest you to go into the edit section and go into the preferences so you can prepare your project uh depending on what kind of project you're going to be working on so if, so if you have any trouble trying to connect any device in here or you don't uh hear your sound your music or your microphone you can always go into the preference section into the devices and and see if this one is uh, connected correctly and as well at the playback and the recording section is right in here you can let me know guys in the comment section if you want to hear more about the audacity here if you want to check out some more advanced tools Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about this application, guys. And I'll see you next time.